In this quick video, we're going to take a look at how FSR3's frame generation can bring improved performance to crossover gaming on Mac. For those who don't know, FSR3 builds upon FSR2 with improved upscaling and a new technology called frame generation. Many games are already being updated with FSR3 capabilities, and as time goes on, more games like Cyberpunk 2077 are slated to get FSR3 support as well. Let's take a look at three PC games that have been updated with FSR3 running through Crossover on Mac. Okay, so we're in game and if I go to settings, you can see that we have frame generation toggled off. It looks like we're getting about 45 to 50 frames per second on average here. And let's compare that to footage with frame gen on where we're getting nearly 75 frames per second. In this side-by-side, -side, frame gen on is getting about 20 frames per second more than frame gen off. So while not as substantial of an increase as it would be on a PC, getting 20 frames per second for Mac gaming is really good and can be the difference between being able to bump up to a higher graphics preset or not. Here's some really cool footage from a game called Estencel. It may be a small game, but this Unreal Engine 5 game has some pretty intense graphics. With frame gen off, Estencel struggles to hold a solid 60 frames per second. With frame gen on, it lets even the M1 Pro run it at a much more stable frame rate at 60 plus FPS. Here's a side by side of Estencel running with and without frame gen. Both games are using FSR3, but only with frame gen on can the game reach a solid 60. It looks like on average here, we're getting an increase of about 15 to 20 FPS, which really makes a nice difference when playing a game for crossover. So this is Remnant 2 on an M1 Pro MacBook Pro. Remnant 2 is an Unreal Engine 5 game with really heavy graphics. It recently was updated with FSR 3 and frame gen, and the results are very promising. What once was completely unplayable is now decently playable on the M1 Pro. This is footage of Remnant with frame gen off. We're getting about 40 frames per second on average with dips into the 30s. Here's a side-by-side -side of Remnant with frame gen on and off. Amazingly, we're getting an extra 20 frames per second with frame gen on, even hitting 60 frames per second at certain times. So yeah, good news. Remnant 2 is definitely now playable on Mac thanks to frame generation. So overall, it looks like frame generation is going to be a game changer when it comes to playing games through crossover on Mac. While not as drastic of a performance boost than a PC might get, games with frame gen capabilities are going to become a lot more playable on Mac. But what about games that only have FSR2 and aren't being updated? Well, that's where the Luke FZ mod comes in. It's a community-made FSR3 mod that, in theory, should allow any game with FSR2 to use FSR3. The mod is still in beta and is most likely not going to be ready for the public for a while. But with the Luke FZ mod, we should expect to be able to get massive performance boosts in games like Hogwarts Legacy, Spider-Man Miles Morales, and God of War. Mac Pro Tips will cover the Luke FZ mod in more detail as it progresses. For now, check out the list of FSR3 compatible games in the description of this video, and have fun testing out frame gen on your own computer. As always, thanks for watching.